All right, so uh, this is the last lecture in my three lecture series. I would like to uh, show you what uh, geometric set theory has to say about descriptive combinatorics. Uh, this is one of the uh, more challenging parts of the book for the to write. Uh, and um, uh, let me just uh, 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 tell you about the basic uh, uh, concern. So let's... Um, uh, suppose that you have two Borel locally countable structures. Okay, it can be whatever. Uh, let me uh, uh, choose graphs. Okay, on um, uh, B zero and T one, the Borel locally countable graphs. Um, Of course, in the BFC, uh, uh, they have countable chromatic number because they're locally countable. But the question is whether you can uh, assign uh, these colorings to each connectedness component uniformly in some way uh, if you don't have axiom of choice. So, so, uh, so is it consistent? Um, Uh, uh, with uh, ZF1 and C, that uh, 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 the chromatic number of uh, G0 is countable, while uh, the chromatic number of G1 is not. Okay? But the uh, 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 it, whatever method I'm uh, going to develop doesn't pertain only to chromatic numbers. Chromatic numbers are just, you know, a popular thing and uh, somewhat uh, challenging thing, but uh, we can as well talk about uh, uh, perfect matchings, uh, edge, uh, uh, edge coloring, num uh, edge chromatic numbers, uh, compressibility, versions of compressibility and structurability, whatever have you, okay? And, uh, uh, and uh, we developed some sort of machinery for uh, achieving some results of this type, uh, but it's already quite significant, in my opinion. Um, but uh, there are many uh, open questions left. Okay, so from the point of view of uh, uh, geometric set theory, uh, the partial order which should be used is immediately at hand. Okay, and so. Uh, so the there is an obvious um, um, uh, you know, there's an obvious candidate for uh, for the generic expansion. Okay. Uh, uh, this is, by the way, uh, one good thing about uh, um, uh, geometric set theory that it often hands you the partial orders of a, uh, on a silver plate. Okay, and then, uh, so uh, let me um, uh, just uh, define C to be equal to uh, um, in this case uh, colorings uh, uh ordered by extension okay um So, uh, so what you have is you want to make this chromatic number countable. This is a locally countable graph. So, so what you do is uh, your condition is an approxim countable approximation to the color. And because the graph is locally countable, uh, the simplest thing to do is to say, well, okay, we look at uh, uh, a countable piece which is invariant under the connectedness uh, equivalence relation and color that and uh, you know, keep on coloring. But how do you maintain the control which will um, assure that the chromatic number of G1 is not, uh, does not become countable, right? 
there must be some relationship between G0 and G1 that have to be employed. And, uh, uh, and uh, that uh, comes straight from this uh, descriptive combinatorics, okay? Uh, now, I would just like to say that this post that is obviously uh, uh, is not. What are the balance conditions? Uh, as always, the balance conditions are right at hand. Uh, it's very seldom that uh, that you actually uh, well uh, in situation that one has very seldom, but the, it is often the case that the balance con conditions are immediately visible. Namely, the, the balance conditions are just total colorings. Okay, um, balance conditions are. Exactly, uh, uh, are exactly uh, total colorings. All right, so, uh, from this point of view, uh, uh, nothing all that interesting is happening. We have a clear function, right? Um, and uh, we see that it falls within our uh, um, uh, calculus. And uh, but the question now becomes: Well, what is? Uh, how do we uh, actually handle G one? Uh, so so as to come up uh, with a proof that uh, we didn't add uh, the structure of G one. And this is the uh, content of the of today's lecture. Okay, so. Um, so now uh, I will start uh, uh, from some sort of model theoretic uh, angle. And uh, let me just consider a case of um, any single cell of this uh, of G0. Okay, look at a single class, a connectivity class, and look uh, at the, uh, how G0 behaves on it and uh, uh, would how difficult it is to get the coloring, okay? But I want to do it in a completely uh, general way. And uh, so uh, uh, let M uh, be a countable structure. Um, uh, um, probably uh, in finite language, but uh, uh, otherwise you should be uh, imagining uh, quite unpredictable structure which has plenty of automorphisms and uh, uh, is not enumerated, okay? Uh, and um, let, uh, so, so uh, I define a, a, a finite condition stock set, uh, a finite condition stock uh, set uh, on M uh, is, uh, is a post of T, which consists of uh, finite structures on the domain of that, uh, whose, whose conditions are uh, um, finite structures on the domain of M. And, uh, um, uh, Ordered by uh, uh, ordered by extension, and uh, the whole the whole process should be invariant under the under the automorphism. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, B uh, must be invariant. Uh, under one more okay. And now um, the question becomes, uh, so, so uh, as, a, as an example, okay, uh, suppose that you want to add a co uh, uh, coloring, which is zero. So a natural, a natural thing to consider for P would be the post set of finite G colorings, okay? Uh, uh, and then uh, 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 it, uh, it's uh, uh, also clear that we need to uh, somehow make sure that we're uh, 
uh, we need to uh, 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 we need to be able to extend the the, the structures that uh, that we're looking at. Okay, so 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 uh, um, um, it should be the case. For all of P and T, and for all M in the domain of uh, uh, capital M, there exists Q, which is less or equal to P. Uh, it's, a, it's an extension of P uh, of its M is uh, being in the domain of Q. Okay? Now, if you don't have this, then uh, the whole uh, thing is somewhat strange. Okay? Because what you want to, uh, what this P is uh, supposed to do, uh, uh, what this P is supposed to do, it's supposed to add a, uh, uh, a structure of both color. Okay. And then, uh, now, um, um, Now the question is, uh, what kind of control do we have on this POSET P? The POSET P is countable, but that's, uh, and uh, you might say that ends the analysis, uh, but in fact, uh, it doesn't. Uh, and uh, that's an important point. Uh, we need to uh, uh, devise a couple of notions of control. Okay, uh, so, uh, so, P can have several uh, kinds of control. All of these, uh, all of these notions of control that I'm going to uh, uh, talk about, uh, all of them have, all of them include. Uh, uh, some sort of norm. So, uh, so what you uh, need is a is a norm uh, uh, for every condition. You need a norm, uh, which uh, which you know the condition uh, as it grows stronger, the norm becomes bigger. Okay, and uh, uh, the norm is typically an natural number, and uh, uh, so uh, so, so, but it doesn't really matter. Q is less than or equal to P implies that uh, Q is P. And uh, uh, they, uh, they all include some sort of a zone. Uh, a zone is uh, not, uh, it's, I should say, uh, the norm is very commonly the size, uh, the cardinality of the domain of P. Okay, uh, nothing more. Uh, but there is also a, a, some sort of a zone which normally is the domain of P, uh, but it doesn't really have to be. Uh, uh, a zone P uh, is uh, uh, something that uh, uh, it's a finite set, but it's a finite subset of the domain of N, which uh, certainly should contain the uh, domain of P. Uh, and uh, again, uh, it's uh, P is less of a P, and uh, it's so, uh, only uh, the zone of uh, uh, P is the same set. It's not sort of a zone of influence, uh, but it's typically the domain. Uh, I think uh, we found uh, a couple of cases where it's not the domain, but uh, you, you might think it's just. Uh, it's, a, it's important that both of these things uh, should be invariant under the uh, automorphism group action. Okay, both of uh, So uh, and now I will uh, explain a couple of uh, notions of control. Uh, some examples. Uh, so, um, So the center of control is a situation where if you have a, for every finite set uh, 
uh, uh, let's say A subset of B uh, of uh, um, uh, for instance, this one goes. Uh, A has a common or amount. Okay. Uh, so in this case, uh, the norm uh, doesn't doesn't really come into it. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, uh, so what are the examples? So, so this is some uh, very simple uh, situation. And, uh, 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 well, let's say P would be the uh, acyclic, uh, uh, acyclic subgraphs of a given graph. Okay. So uh, they come, uh, well, the zone will be just uh, the set of vertices that are used uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in a condition. And now, uh, if you look at acyclic graphs that have disjoint, uh, disjoint domains, then uh, you take the union and say, again, acyclic, right? Uh, so um, um, example, uh, yeah, maybe a somewhat uh, uh, different example. If you uh, uh, somehow have a um, uh, M, uh, which is an empty structure, uh, and P is uh, finite injection is um, the disjoint range of. So uh, what you're attempting to, uh, uh, to add by this post set is just a uh, pair of injections that have disjoint ranges, uh, which uh, um, uh, total injections which have disjoint ranges, which has uh, something to do with uh, compressibility of uh, accountable equivalence relation or, uh, or a um, um, yeah, or paradoxicality of, uh, yeah. I ask something. It was like for graphs. I mean, you can have like two, say, paths that actually in this large graph M. I mean, there is a connection between. There is an edge between them, right? So then we've got two acyclic graphs, and the union is not acyclic. Well, uh, but they have to have some of you mean finite substructures of the graph. So, so uh, look, uh, that's why uh, we're requiring uh, uh, the joint zone. Well, but still, you can have two disjoint paths, say, in the graph whose union is not, I mean, has. Uh, 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 well, uh, yeah, disjoint even by vertex. Okay, uh, so if, uh, uh, of course, if you have uh, uh, two uh, uh, disjoint sets of vertices, vertices, not just paths, if you have a, uh, if you have a cyclic, uh, uh, a secret part here yes. and then a secret part here, then uh, in the union there is no, no cycle. It, uh, uh, yeah, this, this is uh, uh, some, uh, one reason why we need to be uh, somewhat careful about the zone. But uh, yeah, but it's not a, like a induced subgraph. Yeah, it's not a, no, no, it's just a finite asymmetric sub subgraph. Okay, so this is an attempt to uh, uh, to uh, shoot and uh, spanning asyclic graph, okay? Uh, spanning asyclic subgraph. So this, this one is uh, like a, uh, an attempt to uh, 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 to um, uh, um, 
had something that uh, looks like um, um, paradoxic, uh, paradoxical decomposition of, uh, of, uh, of a given set. Uh, that means two disjoint subsets of it, which are, uh, 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 which are both uh, in bijection and they're in bijection with the whole Okay. Uh, for example, um, um, there uh, um, give you some uh, uh, um, example would be a uh, PS uh, finite um, D plus one. Powers um, in uh, uh, the uh, in, in, uh, in a graph um, of the very um, okay, so if every vertex has uh, uh, degree less or equal to n, uh, uh, um, if you have two um, um, uh, colorings um, uh, um, okay so so, uh, so so obviously if you have uh, if you have a finite number of colorings uh, then you can complete them into a double okay uh, uh, but uh, uh, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, it could be uh, even if uh, this is true, even if uh, we didn't have a graph of degree less or equal, the um, uh, uh, this property would still hold. But uh, but uh, the, uh, if you have an arbitrary uh, graph, then the problem would be that uh, an arbitrary coloring has a difficulty being extended to a double. Okay. Um, so, uh, so this is central control. Uh, okay. Linked control. Um, um, um uh, similar except only for uh, so has to. Um, and uh, uh, an example from uh, for, for this. Uh, uh, there's a number of examples that are close, but uh, one which is um, uh, which exists in the literature is uh, the uh, um, uh, yes. uh, particle uh, uh, particle mm -hmm. things uh, in a graph. This uh, um, the the Marx property. Uh, um, so uh, uh, let me not explain what uh, Marx property uh, is, but uh, uh, here, uh, so M is a graph, and you want to add it. Uh, 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 perfect matching to it, and how you do it is uh, you start with uh, uh, some uh, with a post set of partial uh, uh, partial matchings, okay, uh, finite ones. Now the problem is whether you can extend uh, a given matching to a complete one, and uh, also if you have uh, two of them, uh, uh, if you have two of them, it. If the you, if, if you have two of uh, matchings which can be uh, completed to a total one separately, whether when you take the union, whether it's still the case, okay. Uh, and uh, uh, normally this is a very very difficult question, 
Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, Mark's former uh, property actually is uh, uh, no, somehow is such that uh, when you take uh, that the resulting post set that this post set has uh, has length of if, if you take two matchings which have uh, 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 which have uh, uh, which are far away from each other, uh, then uh, uh, then the union can be still uh, uh, still extended to a total to a total match. Okay, uh, but uh, uh, so so uh, and in fact, uh, when I look at the uh, Marxian property that uh, the, the, uh, introduced, it it is exactly somehow uh, manufactured so that the uh, the poster has been okay. my, my way of looking at it. Then uh, I will have another example. Um, uh, here is where the uh, uh, where the norms come in. So uh, so it's uh, every then um, uh, there is actually one. I um, just what I just said. Um, Okay, of conditions of normal S or equal to N. Um, uh, uh, there is a uh, for B. Uh, the current value of B is greater than equal to epsilon times A, say that B has a common R. Okay, uh, so uh, what, is, what is that? Uh, uh, This is something that looks like uh, uh, existent environment measure something. Uh, uh, and uh, this is a good way of uh, looking at it, but uh, in my combinatorial setting, I don't find it particularly useful. Uh, so, uh, so an example, uh, 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 adding a um, uh, two color green uh, and uh, a graph in some post. Maybe uh, in a So, uh, so look, if you have a, uh, so, uh, it, so, so if you have uh, two colorings of connected pieces, okay, two of them, two uh, colorings on uh, different connected pieces, okay, I should say, uh, uh, so, uh, so then the union may not be, uh, Extendable to the coloring because you might be identifying the incorrect piece okay, in, in those uh, in those coloring But uh, um, uh, when you have some collection of uh, finite colorings, then half of them will at least half of them will connect uh, uh, will point to the correct piece. Okay? So epsilon is equal to uh, so here. Epsilon is equal to two. Uh, one, so now. Uh, no matter what, uh, the, 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 the norm doesn't. Uh, is this a norm of D is bigger than epsilon times uh, second line? Uh, you no, know, for, for every set A of conditions, yes. and the conditions themselves are of norm less or equal to N, 
Yeah, uh, there is a, a cell B structure of A such that uh, the cardinality of oh, cardinality. Uh, is at least the cardinality. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, maybe another example of what has to be uh, uh, worked out is uh, any coloring of a, uh, of a uh, uh, deregular acyclic graph, okay? Uh, you have to figure, uh, you have to actually perform some calculations. So we have a free uh, regular tree, you would love that, eh? And you would like to add, uh, uh, you would like to add a coloring, uh, uh, edge coloring, right? And uh, so, uh, so you uh, you use a, a partial of uh, finite approximations to be colorized. This is right. Now, um, uh, in fact, it kind of looks like this. Okay. Uh, you have to actually calculate how many colorings exist and, and so on, but it's not difficult. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just I'm not going to produce it because I don't have enough time. But uh, uh, but this is uh, this is another example. And uh, uh, there is a funny example um, that is used in the book, uh, which doesn't seem to make any sense uh, in this at this very moment, maybe. But uh, but. Uh, when I get to the moral situation, all of a sudden it does. So uh, adding an element, um, oh, uh, to the domain. Okay. So you, you just completely ignore the structure and just uh, add, uh, attempt to add an element of two to the omega with finite approximations, okay? Which is just a coin flip. Doesn't depend on the structure or on M at all, okay? But uh, uh, but it does have uh, uh, it uh, it does have measured control. Let's say uh, the norm of 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 a condition. Uh, uh, well, a condition is just a finite string of zeros and ones. Uh, the norm is the length of it, and uh, then the epsilon will be what? Uh, epsilon will be. Um, uh, the number of uh, uh, the epsilon will be uh, two to the less than yes. uh, two to the yeah. less, uh, minus n or something. Okay, uh, uh, and and, uh, and then this uh, sounds like it's a complete error on the thing because it doesn't use n at all. But in fact, that is uh, and uh, uh, Funny. Uh, another type of control, you can have Ramsey control. Uh, uh, this is one which is very frequent, but I have to omit it because I'm uh, 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 running out of time. But uh, maybe I will leave out the last one. Uh, so for every n, um, And uh, 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 there is, um, uh, and for every um, M, uh, there's K, such that uh, for every uh, uh, for every set A, uh, uh, subset of P uh, consisting of um, uh, consisting of uh, 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 conditions of norm less or equal to n uh, uh, of norm. And for uh, uh, and, and such that a is uh, a greater or equal to k, there is uh, uh, 
B sub A, such as the, the, the cardinality of B is uh, 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 greater or equal to uh, M, let's say that uh, B has a Um, so, uh, so uh, it's similar to this, except here the uh, relationship from M to K doesn't have to be linear. Okay, there uh, K is just uh, uh, M divided by epsilon. Okay, uh, but uh, uh, but here it doesn't have to be linear. And in fact, you can uh, somehow. Uh, uh, Stratify this by how large, how large the, how fast the, the function is growing, and uh, and there's plenty of uh, interesting uh, stuff left there. What is an example? Uh, uh, adding coloring. Um, right. Uh, K and N free graph. Uh, so you look at the graph, which doesn't contain uh, n by n um, by click. Um, you want to uh, add a countable coloring. And you just do it by finite pieces. And if these pieces are disjoint and uh, have bounded size, then uh, the Ramsey theorem, uh, uh, Ramsey theorem will tell you that there will be many of them uh, which are mutually compatible. Okay, um, uh, the, the, there will be uh, uh, a large set of these cells so that between them there is no uh, there is no edge. Okay, uh, uh, and, and so uh, so this is uh, uh, this is one uh, one example. There are other examples of this. Okay, I have to proceed uh, to tell you how all of this is somehow used. Okay. Uh, So how do you do that? How do you do this? So uh, this is you. Define Adding uh, a uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 I'm talking about colorings, but whatever, uh, uh, whatever it is that uh, uh, we are, uh, whatever type of structure we want, uh, to a more um, locally So uh, an example, um, we propose that uh, that, uh, that G is a world locally countable graph. Uh, such that, such that the member cell uh, uh, the, uh, the the colorings uh, form uh, have a random control. What's the cell? Ah, uh, 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 countable invariants. Equivalent uh, class. Okay. Um, uh, okay.
Uh, but uh, they have to have uniform music. It must be, uh, you must be able to assign uh, the, the control to every uh, class uniformly. And uh, 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 this function from M to K needs to be. Then, uh, uh, then there is a um, definable rule, randomly controlled two people, but uh, um, uh, adding uh, the total color. Ah, let me just tell you how uh, what, uh, what it is. We are doing so. So, uh, so what is uh, definable and what is randomly controlled? Uh, so it's a. Uh, uh, um, uh, the the post set of uh, uh, Q that we will have is going to be a union of uh, many pieces, or uh, it, it doesn't have to be even countable. It, it is enough uh, uh, that these pieces are. Uh, uh, but these pieces are uh, just uh, ordinals, okay? Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, and uh, each of these uh, each of these pieces uh, uh, for every uh, uh, and there is this K a um, 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 if the a is to a, then uh, the cardinal the a is and So, uh, so this is what I mean by definable ranging of the, the both of the sides that they can be in a definable way uh, de, um, uh, uh, decompose into uh, some pieces which have this branch. Okay, uh, and now uh, in, uh, if you have a uh, if you have a center control on each of these cells, then then what you can get is that each of these pieces. Okay. Uh, if, you, uh, if you have length control, then you can get it so that uh, uh, each of these pieces is length. And there's nothing difficult about this for theorem, uh, about this uh, proof of this example. You simply take a, uh, um, uh, you simply take a uh, 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 finite fourth product of the coloring process at each of these equivalence classes. And just consider the finite support product, and then you iterate it omega one many times. This is this is what you're doing. Okay. And uh, uh, so um, uh, so now uh, how do uh, the, how do the uh, um, the, the force uh, how do the arguments uh, look? Okay. So so let me uh, show you an example of a theorem that we have here. Um, So in a dance, uh but well, uh 
Yeah, uh, uh, which has no uh, uh, Thanks, okay. Then, uh, uh, then uh, uh, in some extension, you know, in a modern uh, uh, extension of the solving of the body. Uh, the chromatic number of the deal of the model. And uh, there will still not be any uh, uh, Vitalis set in it. Okay, uh, but uh, uh, we can actually make much stronger conclusions than, than there being a big of Vitalis set. Okay. I'm going to talk using this conclusion because I don't know. Yes. So, uh, so in other words, you can color this graph without coloring some other operator, namely the, the graph which has only large clicks in it. Right? And uh, um, you want to the the usual Vitalis set? What? You mean the, the usual Vitalis set in R or there is no Vitalis set? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, uh, yeah, usual, usual Vitalis set, that means no selector of the Vitalis. And uh, the proof, how does the proof? Uh, it will be just a schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the, the, the special proof uh, goes like this, okay? So suppose that, uh, 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 so suppose I'm going to make a prediction. Maybe I'm too late. So obviously, uh, we are towering uh, this process with countable approximations, as I can say. Yeah, now suppose for uh, the person in the position, P, I can tolerate both that. And uh, there is a sound, and that they get three forces on a thousand. Okay. Uh, and now uh, you uh, you go to uh, some intermediate uh, model which has uh, internal definition of, of tau, okay, uh, and then uh, uh, it has the position of p in it. Okay. Um, now uh, what you do is um, uh, uh, you uh, um, 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 uh, you should uh, well so uh, you add a you add a cohenery, okay? A cohen uh, liter real, okay? Um, when we are talking about the Italian cohen stretch, okay? Um, but, um, our beard, uh, cohen real, um, we get a cohen, it's a cohen real, and then, uh, then this R, um, uh, after, uh, so, so let U be at um, um, uh, let Q be a uh, post set which adds, uh, uh, which adds the, uh, uh, let Q be the uh, uh, definable post set with Definable Ramsey control, which has the total covering. Okay. That could be a definable. Uh, and definable. Uh, 
Uh, uh, what happens is that uh, uh, this process, when you look at it in EKR, uh, this uh, this process will have to uh, indicate. Uh, so here is the this R, and here is its equivalence class. Uh, class. Uh, this process will have to indicate which uh, which element of the Vitaly class is going to be in the selector tab. Okay. Um, so uh, so there will be a um, uh, there will be a condition uh, Q uh, such that uh, 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 such that it says well in this Vitaly class. Um, uh, it uh, it will uh, this the, 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 you know uh, 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 when you add some rational number to R uh, that will be the uh, that, that will be the element of the Vitaly set that that we pick right now uh, uh, and now you apply uh, and you realize those cues uh, in in one of these random standard cases okay. And what you uh, what you do after that, uh, you say, well, okay, uh, uh, for every m, uh, in, uh, well, for two m equal to two, there must be k such that when you take k many these uh, k many uh, elements of this post set, there will be two of them compatible inside. Okay, so I, what I will do, I will take two different reals uh, 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 in the same Vitaly class, and uh, they will give me two conditions in the same uh, 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 Ramsey sand piece. Um, uh, and these two, uh, uh, sorry, I will take, sorry, payment, payment of solution. Uh, I will have very many of them. Uh, so then I will have k many uh, uh, k many conditions in the uh, uh, in the Q of uh, Ramsey centered piece. And then the Ramsey centered condition tells me that there will be two of them that are compatible. Okay, uh, so let's see this. But then these two uh, are telling me that both this real and that real must be in the uh, in the uh, with this set, which is impossible because they're both in the same uh, in the same class. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I think I don't have time really to complete the argument uh, uh, carefully, but uh, but uh, this is roughly how how the arguments go. Okay. The different types of control they are used to uh, stratify. Uh, here I was looking at the device. If you want, uh, the, uh, uh, if you want to uh, exclude the existence of this or that or that, then you use different types. Okay. Uh, before I finish, I want to say uh, a couple of things. Uh, uh, just uh, First of all, there's a big problem with this whole, uh, there's a big problem with this whole methodology. Um, uh, so this methodology has to uh, uh, be replaced completely in some situations because some tasks uh, at least seem to have uh, no obvious type of control whatsoever. So, for example, uh, uh, look at the uh, pre regular graph, okay, and consider the post set which adds an end to it, right? Confluent orientation of the edges, okay? So, uh, uh, so, uh, so how do you add this? Well, with finite approximations, right? Uh, so it's finite, uh, finite piece of confluent. Uh, uh, but but the problem then is that you can find uh, 
uh, infinitely many uh, uh, pieces which are uh, which form an anti chain and they are very small. Okay, uh, because uh, what you will be able to do when you will look at an edge uh, along it, uh, you will uh, you will consider conditions which point away from that edge. Uh, I'm sorry, a path. Uh, and look at the conditions of okay. So, uh, so each of these conditions, uh, each of these conditions has more than one in any reasonable sense. They are even um, um, orbit equivalent conditions. They're, they're mapped one to another by the uh, by the um, automorphism group. And then, uh, uh, but they are pairwise incompatible. So it seems like there is no control whatsoever to this process. So, so the question would be, uh, uh, if I see a, a, a graph, which is a regular uh, tree forest, is, is there an extension in which there is an assignment of confluent, uh, uh, confluent uh, uh, orientations and there is no vitalism? Okay, but I have no idea how to do this, okay? Um, I, uh, in fact, I think that the conclusion is not. Yeah, I will. I will conjecture that there is to an extent. How do you actually come up with the right? So, so this is one problem. Okay. Uh, uh, one, the last remark is that um, uh, this whole discussion. Uh, Spectrum can uh, uh, can be extended to uh, to uh, to certain non uh, locally uh, countable tasks. So uh, everything that I was saying today was uh, just uh, concerned locally countable structures, nothing else. But in fact, you can uh, get the uh, theorems like this. Um, it is consistent uh, uh, Z plus C uh, that uh, the, the hypergraph of equilateral triangles uh, in the plane uh, 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 in R2 is uh, comfortably chromatic. And there is no little less set for brevity. So uh, here, uh, the task of coloring these uh, economic triangles is not it's not really common. But still, uh, you can enforce some sort of Ramsey. Okay, um, uh, 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 it doesn't uh, uh, it's not subsumed in the framework that I introduced today. But you can, okay, uh, and um, uh, so. Um, uh, and this is, uh, to me, this is quite interesting. For example, it's not clear if I can increase the damage. Something funny about this. Okay. And uh, uh, so um, uh, um, there is some, uh, which uh, this is interesting to me because it seems to transcend the descriptive combinatorics. Okay. Descriptive combinatorics is, um, as far as I can see, it's almost uh, exclusively 
uh, uh, concerned with locally accountable structures. But in fact, this uh, this whole thing is not just locally accountable structures. That, that they're, you know, it can be connected with other stuff also. All right, so uh, my time is over. So. Thank you very much. Um, are there any questions? All right, so... Um...